This is Deb Halfrich, hashtag Redhead is She-Hawk, founder of Hashtag Wellbeing Philosophy. I'm outside Hunt Library on June 12, 2021, and I am doing the first original work of performance art philosophy invented by moi. What's going on is I'm sitting right here in encampment with electricity and my dog Z for Z, for Zanzi, for Zanzibar. And right over here, I pulled the trooper right on up. Let's take a little walk over here. Again, oh, and I had noticed I have to be able to turn the phone the entire way around. I sort of get it 80%, 90% there before. So here I am. There will be some construction. You can see the, the pillars are down. We'll go look at the pillars, look at the trooper. So this is, this is just me figuring out how to stay alive. Now, I'm doing this with as much panache and creativity as anyone could be asked to work with. I am showing how difficult it is to exist in this world and not do harm to anyone. I'm showing what it means to have spent an entire decade by myself struggling with a chronic disease. Really, toxic mold is something that we have to talk about, y'all. Also going to point out, totally down, like completely not doing anything, you know, untoward. But I also really, really want you to see this. I really, really, really want you to see this. Because this is how performance art philosophy works. The synchronicity of noticing. Okay, so I don't know how many steps I took. Enough to leave all my possessions in Zanzi. It says, right there. CMU Visitors Parking. I get in the shade, can I see that I've got... There we go. Now I can see which way I can. CMU Visitors Parking. And that's where we went. I had to go the long way around. Why not? The last time I was here, I did a great video. There was a kid practicing the tuba on that very picnic table. It was so fame. And I'm doing this for Debbie Allen. I am... Every, 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 every intention of working with Ms. Debbie Allen. What she gifted the world with fame. Incredible. And even though at the time I said, Oh, I am too large. By the way, here's what's going on here. There's a whole bunch of um, roots. Being very mindful of my entire environment. I'm like a tracker in the African savannah when it comes to contemporary world and all of the dangers of everything because I have been so thoroughly alone in my life my whole life that if one tiny thing had ever went wrong I'd be dead by now I had no spare capacity and so here I am doing something incredible and loving that my dog oh she just oh she didn't even bark so there's world headquarters. We got a table here. We're gonna pull, I think, the Mac out. Get started on updating our Squarespace page. And I'm gonna go thank Zanzi for not barking. That's what I'm gonna do. This has been Deb Halfridge inventing a creative, playful, artistic way. This is a hashtag NFT art work that somebody can pay for to fund all of this entercation empire that I came to Carnegie Mellon to get the education to create, but I might be schooling the schools. I might be teaching the teachers when it comes to human potential. When it comes to what's possible for a 50-year-old to start doing like talking like demanding to be seen for her rare brilliance, her embodied consciousness, that wants to learn how to dance, and that actually came alive through ecstatic trance dancing. So, here we are. It's 12.41 p.m., June 12, 2021. Wonder how long it takes for the first conversation to arise. And I'm gonna tell you, it's, it's just gonna be the landscaping guy. 
<laughs> see, see, see if he can like call the news or whatever. I just, just call the tartan. I mean, I'm not trying to make like a huge thing of this, but I'm not close to dying. Of thirst and heat exhaustion. I have not done any harm to anyone else for so long that has brought me to the precipice. So, you see what I'm saying to you? First off, I'm doing this so that many other people don't have to do this. Snap into like, well, I can't legally get my needs met. I'm gonna have to do something ever so slightly slim shady. <laughs> do you get, I mean, what I want you to get what that is. Okay, that was, that was a funny white person rap reference. But also the whole embodiment, the, the tone, everything, it, it's like every part of me knew that was coming before my conscious brain did. The body, I just demonstrated to you creating synchronicity it comes from the body it comes from being fully not afraid I mean I actually am I am I'm having the slight um, butterflies in the um, right here so not in the gut the gut's like, oh yeah, we had to do this. <laughs> it's worth putting a documentary tab for Deb because there's so much goodness, so much goodness that has been utterly not seen, but the creating of my own documentary of saving my own life, becoming the Randy Posh of staying alive for CMU. I just keep raising the degree of difficulty, do I not? But it's like there's going through the world going, well, here's all these rules, here's all these laws. Here's what here's 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 the precipitating here here's some Audi asshole called the cops on me for sitting in the shade in a office park that is 75% empty. If I was still Deb, that motherfucker would have made me commit suicide. I needed to be in that office park. It was around nature. That's why I'm like in, digging this little new innovation of mine. <laughs> in, in able to have people around but be surrounded by the comfort of nature. When I say I'm not Deb, I'm Zenzile. My Zulu name in the movie I wrote titled Londolozi that I've been pitching my heart out this past week, starring one of my pals from Carnegie Mellon, Lamont Rucker. Is now the right time? I don't know. I don't know how to pitch you. I don't know. But this is an NFT, this funds the movie, this, I am cr creating non-fungible token, digital artworks, painting the fence, right? You go to the earlier video, Lamont, you know, too broke to buy paint, so <laughs> I was gonna use the uh, tools of magical online capacity the internet provides for us. All right, again, I think I'm trying to keep these in the in the zone of watchability I had some good bits I just documented what's going on in my surroundings oh <gasps> cop car yeah I should film when security arrives it's for my documentary <sighs> you see someone some uh, I'm working at an extremely high level of um, consciousness right now. I can I can feel I can sense how anyone else would 
be forced to split from themselves in this kind of situation and do things that were unconscionable. In my case, I'm doing things that are like <laughs> evolution of consciousness a bull. Creating, creating, creating. Like no harm, no harm. Like this is odd. It's non-standard. But I really don't think there is a rule that doesn't say that an alumni can't pull her trooper up and, and tailgate in Pittsburgh. In the middle of midsummer's June eves. But not no no learning is being impeded. But some learning is being done. Some schooling is occurring in terms of how creativity saves lives. How not always beating into people, they can't be who they are. Because when their life's at stake, when your life's at stake, when people are being who they are, there's no subterfuge between the most dramatically efficient accent, action, sorry, I, sorry, no. So what's happened, so again, so you, do you hear the, you hear it, you can't see it, so the, the landscaping crew, and I'm just, this was preparing for my close-up. So I won't film the landscaping crew, unless, unless he seems down. Um, but I do want to film security. This is, this, um, um, this, I'm doing all Spike Lee. Spike Lee's in my head like, yeah, get the footage, Deb, get the footage. So, so many Spike Lee director's commentaries. Thank you, holler. We'll work together someday. Come on. See how this works? This, this, our, our executive produced this, and I can't believe you haven't been calling, but if, I don't know. I don't know where, where, the, where the point is of going, <gasps> gotten you, Deb. Got, got, got in this performance, these Socratic monologues. Stand-up philosophy. All right, harmony.